So they just announced Endwalker, and while I'm happy our boy here is back to being a paladin, I'll comment that on a later video. Cool? Awesome. We've gone into a lot of things about Eorzea so far. We talked about the world as a whole, I battled addiction, and I still suck ass at platforming, so we've seen some shit. With February here, I've decided to take a look into an aspect of the game and of my life that hasn't seen the light of day. That's right, for this special month, I will be talking about improving as a tank. Let's go! So if by any unfortunate circumstance you're anything like me, you're a big ol' tank and you're probably playing this game solo for the most part. Just you. In front of your computer screen. You're not quite hungry. You feel empty. The microwave leftovers are untouched next to the keyboard. The keys H, E, L have largely faded. Your controller makes that squeaking noise whenever you switch macros. You want to replace it, but your dead-end job doesn't allow you such luxuries. The faucet keeps dripping and keeps you up at night. You want to fix it, but it's the only noise left outside your computer. This is not hell, nor is this heaven. This is purgatory. Well, worry not. In this video, we'll go over the general areas that us tanks can improve upon in order of importance. Firstly, embrace your look. I am a big believer that we all have our own signature look or theme. There are just so many clothing options out there. Go casual and let excellence breathe through naturally and hopefully you can catch someone's attention. Or get a little spunky and throw some random colors on because you crave attention. Be a goth and channel your inner edgelord because daddy didn't give you any attention. Have a mix of brown and gray because the last thing you want is attention. Mix and match clothing, mix and match armor, go shirtless, go pantless, go naked. Bold. Who gives a shit? Well, except you. And hey, around these parts, we don't judge. What's important is you being comfortable in your own skin. And once you are, you're bound to feel confident. Don't get me wrong, confidence isn't about being the loudest in the party or who issues commands or who gets the most commends, although that would be really nice to have. Confidence is the feeling of comfort while being yourself. Fashion aside, that's probably not why you're here, you handsome devil you. God, I'm so hot. You want to know how to get good? It's in the video title, guys. The most important aspect is to master the basics. You know, the crap ton of skills that you and only you can do well. These are skills like your ranged pull your AoEs, your damage combos, your mitigation skills, your ability to execute long-term plans, spreadsheet organization, software programming, plumbing, video editing, machine repair, painting, cooking, hedge fund investment. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about in-game skills? Sorry, sorry, sorry. These skills are your bread and butter. They are essentially what keeps you and your loved ones sustained moving forward. Mastering these is essential for yourself and the people around you, so don't rush. Find a corner in your life and work on these things. Find joy in learning and discover a new world through mastery. Whether you focus on increasing DPS in your rotations, properly timing your cooldowns, knowing when to use your abilities, painting that next canvas, better organizing your workstation, maintaining your tools. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm supposed to talk about the game. I'm sorry. Sorry. There's nothing more fulfilling out there than building yourself up brick by brick. 
Unless you're a colossal asshole, then we need to work on a few more things before heading off into the world. So in that case, you gotta learn how to be less toxic, bro. My dude. Friend. Buddy. Guy. You're the tank. Like it or not, you're the de facto leader of the party. The healer may be its heart and soul, but you're the brains of the operation, Brosef. You set the pace and when to initiate. You position and adjust the encounters so no one else gets hurt. Yeah, mechanics and any weird-ass gimmicks? You gotta know ahead of time and actually take the time to study it. But you already know that. That's why you're still a tank. What I'm getting at is, as leader, you should hold yourself to that standard. You wanna know how? Well... Samuel Jackson, you know, the meme. No, no, not, not that meme. Not that meme. Not that meme. Yeah, okay, that meme. He said some shit about treating people who have nothing to offer. Uh, how'd it go? Fuck it. I'll just put it up here with my excellent editing. Yeah, that's the bar you need to clear. Healer having some issues healing even when your cooldowns are being used properly do lighter pulls. DPS missed a mechanic? Tell him it's no problem and at least he knows now. Healer missed a healing window? Well, you got your own self heals for fuck's sake. DPS pulled ahead of you? Deal with it. I'm being harsh here, but I'm also exaggerating. My point is, your party members are people with problems outside of the game. This 10 minute dungeon might be their only form of reprieve. Imagine what a big deal it is for them. If their party leader was a pretty chill and understanding dude, that'll make their day. Whatever love you've shown to what you wear and what love you've poured into your craft should go to them as well. And yeah, uh, love, um, right, right. Doing this in order of importance, right, right. There's no way for me to get cute around this. You gotta love yourself. You can't pick out the outfit that matches your eyes if you hate your eyes in the first place. You can't work on any of your hobbies if it's hard to get up in the morning. It's hard to extend what little warmth you have towards others if you're living in self-loathing. I was like that too. Hell, I still struggle with it today. Because loving yourself isn't just one big decision that you make. It's choosing to do it every day. If you're too fat, too skinny, too tall, too short, too loud, too quiet, but you still embrace whatever perceived flaws you may have, and you may fail to love yourself after bad days, and that's okay. As long as you continue to make the conscious decision to accept yourself from a good place in your heart, everything else will fall into place. I've been running through my own dungeons without a healer for quite some time. And it does get sad at times, I'll admit. But I've been blessed to have family, friends, and even you, person watching this video for the first time. Going with me on that run. All of you. And you're probably running your own dungeon as well. But know that man, I am with you 100%. And that healer, she's out there waiting for you. And she's going to be so proud of how you carried yourself and more importantly, you're going to be proud of yourself for sticking to it. And that is how to tank good in Final Fantasy XIV. This is your brother in arms, Fox Marine, telling you to stay safe and have a fulfilling Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want more FF14 content. You have been warned, there are no guarantees.